Water's really up here. So high it's going over the beaver dams here. This ditch here is pretty deep. So it's, you can't even really get over there to that. But right now, because of a clog further downstream, this water can't get out of here fast enough. So it's doing about all it can right now. Later on, as that bleeds off some, this goes down. And those could be opened up. Get more of that out of there. Just kind of running through it a lot of different places. Hey everybody. Uh, this morning I'm starting my day. We're on the far east side of the property. All the uncloggings that you've seen all the way down there on the other end. As it fills up, it comes back this way. And as a last resort, it can come. There's a pipe right here. It can go across, come into this ditch, and go down and go that way. And back there at that tree line, that's the bio. And it goes, they can flow that way. Um, the route that it likes to go, of course, is this way to the main ditch and to the bio over there. Uh, that's also, this is how we get the beavers, too. The beavers come up from the bio. To just last week, actually, this was down a lot lower. Uh, that stick sticking up right there, I actually put that in there to mark the edge of the pipe because I couldn't see it. Um, it comes out all the way here. It's interesting, there's some type of, I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's some kind of little trickle going on there. So I don't know if we got a hole, a leak, the pipe's broke, but some reason water's going down there a little bit. Doesn't really seem to be going through there and coming out the other side very much. No flow at all, really. I'm going to get the rake out. I'm just going to kind of poke at that a little bit. It's hard to get out there because it's it's so far out there. And it's at the depth that it is right now. That would go over the boots that I have. So I can't get out there in it. But maybe I can reach out there. anything in front of it. So I bet it's got a clog somewhere in it along here. Muddy water coming through. Nothing. I'm gonna have to come back and address this one. When I'm a little bit better equipped. I'm gonna have to be able to get in the water and get into that pipe. I smell skunk.
going to switch your sides. Action seems to be starting over here, so. That didn't work. Quite a bit of action going on from both sides now, so I'm gonna move you up top here. Before we get further into this, I want to take a moment to thank Brunt for sponsoring today's video. This video is brought to you by Brunt, the brand that is transforming workwear. Brunt Workwear sent me a pair of their Distasio Comp Toe Work boots. Over the last couple of weeks, I've been putting them to the test here on the farm, and I must say, I'm really impressed. They sell high quality work boots and work apparel designed with real workers, built with the best materials and technology. If their products don't perform to your standards, you can return your purchase within 30 days for a full refund. They sell directly to you, no middlemen. Shipping returns are free too. Get $10 off your first purchase today with the 30 day risk free trial by going to brentworkwear.com forward slash Barrett Farms 10 and use code Barrett Farms 10. There's a link in the description. So my GoPro just went dead. Really wasn't 
prepared very well for today. I didn't think I was going to be doing this today. Uh, we're going to get this down some. It's very difficult to get out here right now on this. We don't have much the platform to stand on. In this way, just in case I didn't pick up. I'm going to let this drain down. Um, my GoPro just went dead. So I really wasn't prepared to do this today. I didn't think this is what I would be doing. Um, but the water's so high, i got to get it down some. Can't even fully take this out because it's so high. This water is, if you remember from earlier videos when this was pretty much dry, didn't have any water in it, that's very deep out there. Uh, well over my head, and I'm 6'2". Very steeply sloped, and it's clay. So you get off in there with boots, you'll slide right down to the bottom and you won't come out. Uh, so that is not water you want to get in. That would be very dangerous. So we'll let this come down. We're going to go down to the other uh, drain, the far west one, because as you can see, just getting this open, pipe's already at capacity. We're, we're deep on the other side too, so we're, we're clogged up down on the end. So I'll go down there and uh, check that one out. All right, just for reference, uh, here we are on the, we were just unclogging right there, partially got that open, and here's the other side of it. Like I said, see how high the water is over here already? Still got good flow, but we gotta go down there, figure out what's going on. I apologize, I'm having to uh, go to the cannon on a tripod, since the GoPro's dead. Hopefully this at least lets you hear the water. Maybe see a little, I don't know. Just a little bit. Going quite well.
was my stubborn. So much current on it. Here we go now. Flowing pretty good. I can't. I'm trying to get that out of there. Uh, the current on it, so and it's it's long. It goes way down in there. So uh, the current's fighting, and uh, kind of starting to work its way back in there further. And I don't, I don't want it to go in there until it definitely gets that with the other stuff that's in there. So we'll just let it ride till the water falls. Down some. I'm not fighting the current so much. This one's really, really, really going good. It's quite deep in this. Trying to rain a little bit. Here we go now. Deepen this out a little bit. That kind of muttering right there from the beavers. Uh, I don't know if the, the beavers on this one, if they're lazy or if they're smart. So not putting a ton of work into it a lot of it is just leaf and stick debris they've been putting some mud in it but nothing like down there um, so they really haven't put a whole lot of effort into this one and it's been working got those streaks in the water from the current kind of cool This is the last culvert on this ditch. Uh, from here it goes into what's called a main ditch. It's essentially, it's more like a bio, really, but it runs into a bio. There's no culverts, uh, there's no bridges, uh, nothing that any of this stuff can get jammed up on. Uh, I do try to get like the sticks and stuff. I don't want the sticks going in. Uh, but the leaves and stuff like that, it's just easier. I, I do scoop a lot of them out. But some of those, when they're down there fighting the current, it's easier just to kind of wiggle them loose and let them go down. Sticks, definitely want to get out because that'll just cause a clog somewhere else. It's pretty, this current is really pull, it's pulling stuff from quite a ways away. And it's really rushing out. We'll check it in a little bit, see how much the water levels falling. Weather's starting to get a little bit nasty. It is cold. Wasn't well prepared. Now it's starting to rain. My GoPro was charged. That'd be a problem. Waterproof. Water resistant.
this is why I wanted to get that one down there open first before we really open that one up it's moving it's not uh, it's not nice like the other one making a waterfall sound but we got it over here on this side Now one thing I try to do too, you see there's some mud piled up here. I try to clear this out out here. That's kind of, I don't they build that as like a, a secondary. You know, so if this breaks, it's only going to go down to that kind of mud level they got built up. Maybe, it's, maybe they just have it there reinforcing the whole thing. I don't know. But, kind of dug into that. And then of course once you get the water really running through it, the erosion just eats away at some of it. I will go ahead, I'm gonna get this knocked out right here so that we can really get some good flow on that. And uh, then I think we'll just let it go for a while. Obviously, the pipe's getting all it can take. Can't give it much more. Yeah. It's getting some. I don't know if I can get it much better than that. Some kind of dead animal. It was actually in the water. I made the mistake of tossing it over here. Oh, it was a bad idea. you can see them or not but there's a lot of uh, ducks this is our this is the field in the front um, but all those flying around there those are mainly ducks looks like try some geese in there too but uh, hanging out in the water we're pretty much at the tail end of the migratory period now they'll be around a little bit longer but we'll start getting the water out of here because it'll take a while so you're wondering why this is so lush and green right here and it's january that's wheat so we grow wheat in the winter um you know in kansas and nebraska you know famous for growing wheat they grow a, like a hard wheat this is a soft wheat it's used in uh, like pastries and such uh, Somehow the cold doesn't hurt it. Even uh, a few weeks ago when we hit down to like three degrees, um, it stunted it a little bit. You know, it kind of got lost some of its green color, but um, it kind of snapped right back. So it does fine in the cold. They'll probably cut this um, probably around May. Uh, hopefully the weather plays nice and the wheat can come out and the beans can go in. Um, fingers crossed. So that's going to do it for today. Uh, that's probably one of the best flows we've gotten on that uh, since I've been doing this. Started recording these. Man, my hair is like out of control. Um, so we'll check it again. I probably won't be back again over here for like another week, maybe. Um, I don't know. I may come midweek too. We're supposed to have some bad weather and such uh, this week, so uh, when we do these unclogging, as long as there's a, as long as there's a beaver in there, that's basically just good for one day. Uh, tonight, the beaver will come back, and it'll stop that water flow. It makes them really angry, especially when they can hear it. Uh, it makes them very nervous. Um, and then as the water falls too, that, that really starts to bother them. So, and it'll, it'll drop the way it's flowing today. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if before it gets dark, that water doesn't drop by a foot maybe or more. 
So. All right. Thanks for watching.